So the future of billions, for those who may not know, this the, is this the penultimate season? There's going to be one more. Do you do you want to make more? What what uh, what can you tell us about billions, partner? I hope never ends. David. Well, we're, yeah, we're ready to keep rolling. Um, you know, we'll we'll keep doing it as long as it's fresh and exciting to us, and as long as the network wants to keep going. And it seems like that's firing on both sides. You know, they don't order it many years in advance. We only go one at a time, but. We are we are not planning on wrapping it up anytime soon um, from our end of it. I can imagine uh, as long as there's greed um, and as long as there's, uh, you know, capitalism and as long as that's a driving force for a lot of people uh, in this world, I kind of think you guys have a ton of stuff to work with. Right? <laughs> I don't think greed is going anywhere soon. <laughs> I mean, capitalism looked a little rocky for a minute there, but it's probably okay now that Bernie didn't get the nomination. Well, and, and I and I, I I do know obviously, and then you know we could we could begin to wrap up our conversation maybe around this is what is going on in this world. You know, I'm talking to you right now from the corner of my desk that I did uh, all of my NFL draft coverage and how immensely popular that it was, and and to have you guys now with your series come in right now, it is just perfectly timed for people who want to lose themselves in that. But that said, at some point, you know, everyone will get back to work and so will the industry that you guys are so uh, prevalent in. And then I imagine there will be stories and everything will be run through the prism of what we're going through right now. I'm fascinated to know what what Bobby Axelrod and Chuck Rhodes' life would be in a coronavirus or post-COVID-19 world. So, are, I mean, so are we, you know, that'll be, uh, we will start writing season six over the, the summer. Uh, and we put all the stuff that's going on in the world, uh, you know, in, in, into the hopper. Um, and, and we'll figure it out. Certainly, look, I, I just look at the, I mean, I'm, Dave and I talk about this all the time. I mean, it's funny, someone just texted Dave and me earlier today to say, how you doing? And, and Levine, I thought your answer was perfect. And it's like beside the point how we're doing. I mean, there's so many people hurting, man. It's like, uh, and that was an off, I mean, Dave was just saying that to a buddy. It's like, you know, we're all, the three of us are all in a, a pretty good spot here. We have uh, jobs that we like doing and we have some food on the table in a house. And and so uh, when we get back into it, figuring out how these characters are processing it and what's going on will be certainly a fascinating thing to do. Right now, I think the two of us are, thinking a lot about just people and, and, you know, seeing online the way people talk about being excited about the show coming back, if that gives them uh, an hour or two of distraction and like some joy, then that feels great to us and, and lucky to be able to be a part of that for people. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's such an intense and strange time for so many people. And the only way I can look at what our show might bring is how much I miss sports. You know, I, I miss I miss what sports give me the ability to concentrate on something outside of my life, something that takes me away. I miss marveling at what athletes can do under pressure. And, you know, I can't wait for that to come back. I know David, you feel the same way. And I I can't, you know, I'm thrilled that our show can, can be that for some people. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.